Hi, here to talk more about ukuleles, and this one is a pretty special uke um, uh, made in Hawaii. It's a kumalai uh, ukulele um, made by uh, Jonah Kumalai, a very uh, uh, important early uh, ukulele maker uh, in Hawaii, and uh, it's probably the oldest uh, ukulele that I have. And it's, it's pretty special for another reason, too. Um, back in uh, 1915, in San Francisco, they held what was uh, called the uh, Pan-Pacific International Exposition. Um, sometimes it's referred to as the Pan-American Exposition, but it was actually the Pan-Pacific International Exposition, a kind of World's Fair-like uh, arrangement in, uh, in San Francisco where... Uh, folks from uh, nations and territories and islands and things uh, uh, came to show off their uh, cultures, including uh, including music. And uh, this uh, this ukulele or the Kumalai ukulele uh, won the gold medal uh, for instrument making. Uh, all kinds of instruments uh, were in the competition, but uh, this one won uh, the, the gold medal for instrument making at, at that exposition and got pretty famous for doing that. And they quickly incorporated uh, that fact into their, into their logo, as you may be able to see on the headstock. Uh, and uh, in, the, in the label on, on the inside, um, uh, indicating that they were the gold medal winner at that uh, exposition. Um, they had been uh, making ukuleles for a while before that, uh, probably dating back even to when um, <clears throat> Hawaii was an independent uh, kingdom. It had been that um, uh, up until, I think, 1897, when in a controversial, to say the least, uh, sort of coup with uh, business, U.S. business interests uh, deposing the then uh, Queen uh, Liliuokalani um, and uh, Hawaii became uh, uh, a territory of, of the United States. Um, but uh, the logo uh, for the Kumalai ukulele still used the uh, sort of royal uh, Hawaiian uh, coat of arms uh, in their in their logo. Uh, so, um, but they they, uh, they as I say they quickly incorporated the gold medal. Uh, this is. This particular ukulele is is probably shortly after that uh, because it still uh, utilizes, as you can see, the straight friction uh, tuning pegs, not uh, not the sort of machine head uh, tuners uh, that came along later. Um, but uh, but that exposition and Hawaii winning that gold medal uh, really uh, was a, a significant contributing factor to the sort of heyday of the ukulele. Uh, in the United States um, into the into the 1920s. So um, I'm going to do a little bit on this to show you how it sounds and appropriately uh, you should probably do something Hawaiian and if anybody thinks of Hawaiian tunes they usually think of Aloha Oe which uh, coincidentally was uh, was written by, composed by uh, the 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 last queen of uh, the Kingdom of Hawaii, uh, Liliuokalani, and um, so sh she was a, uh, a musician as well as, as some of her predecessors on the throne there had been, um, and, uh, and uh, composed uh, that song, which is kind of a, a signature song for the island of Hawaii. So uh, let's see kind of what, uh, what this sounds like.
And one thing about those tuning pegs, they don't hold a tune as well as the later machine heads, but uh, that uh, gives you some idea. It, it uh, to me, still sounds uh, sounds good, and uh, uh, I appreciate your uh, joining me to check it out. Thank you.